ये एक हमारा जेल है जो हिस्टोरिक जेल है फ्रॉम ब्रिटिश एम्पायर टू पोर्चुगीज एम्पायर सी दिस वॉल है दिस होल थिंग फोर्ट अगवाड़ा डाउन दिस इज कॉलेप्स We are here on this beautiful beach in Candulim with one of the big turning points of this election, Michael Lobo. He is the big leader of North Goa, considered the king of what is called Goa's party central, the Bardis Taluka. All the famous beaches you know about, Baga, Kalangut, Candulim, that all comes under his turf. And his exit from the BJP into the Congress. just weeks before the election sent shock waves through goa's political landscape and many believe that was a big turning point for this election thank you very much michael lobo is it correct to call you the king of bardes Bar no no not, i not i am i am humble not, are you going to say i am a humble worker no i am not a king i am just one worker one worker okay of the people of goa and also bardes of bardes now tell me something michael lobo when you left You said that this is not Manohar Parikar's BJP. That's why you left. That is a very vague answer. Uh, What does that mean? See, What is the real reason? Manohar Parikar made built this party in Goa. You can say I was his follower hmm. from to 1999 onwards. Yeah, and I joined with Manohar Parikar. He handpicked us few guys like me. Who else? 2005, six. Right. After me, lot of other guys uh, came in. I got hmm. elected as Zilla Panchayat member in 2009 in uh, in Saligao constituency. As BJP. Yeah. You must have been one amongst the very few Christians. Yeah. Uh, we, uh, we, I was just after Francis Jesusa, who was uh, our uh, ex deputy chief minister. He hmm. was the first minority guy to join. But we are always looked at as as not as minority. We are accepted by everyone. So then, what changed? Okay, so you're saying Manohar Parikar brought all of you in, brought you in, yeah. And uh, as you said, your hand handpicked boys. Yeah, yeah. What happened now to all of you? No, it's he like it's like left. the Manohar Parikar's uh, handpicked boys. Yes. Or you can say all those people who followed Manohar Parikar are being sidelined in the BJP today. They are being they are being uh, kept at the side. Like, they are being kept in one corner like who so i can you see uh, yesterday's resignation of datta prasad naik hmm. he is the leader of the of the bandari samaj he is kept out anil hobble is thrown out hmm. uh, manohar parikar's own son does not have space in bjp But michael lobo was being sidelined i being a minister i left and i resigned as a minister But and that's what the that's BJP is saying. You are a minister. What? How are you being sidelined? No, we were sidelined. We were sidelined. Nobody would leave the ruling party, which is at the center and the state. Hmm. Nobody would leave them and uh, join a party which has only one MLA. That is, Congress had one MLA uh, left, Digambar Kamat. Yes. So I have left for the betterment of Goa. I have left. so that people of goa still feel that we 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 are in a democratic place but many believe that the real reason why you left is because they were not giving your wife a ticket your no, wife delaila no, who was no, fighting no. and no, that is the i would reason. i would directly deny this allegation because we have never asked a ticket this is all blatant lies what they are telling but you are actually fighting from the no, no, column seat on the congress yeah uh, yeah, yeah. if if things were good with bjp she would have been fighting independent and i would have been the bjp candidate for kalangut constituency huh. see we we are all sidelined by the kotheri there is a kotheri in the bjp in goa hmm. and that kotheri has sidelined us right. in such a way that we were humiliated to leave the party okay we were not comfortable at all uh, in the party so we had to leave you it. had to leave come let's sit in and we have hot political talk <laughs> let's cool off with the nariyal pani on the beach on the beach here That's nice. Is that nice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. The Goan coconut. The Goan coconut. So you're saying that you're quitting. Nothing had nothing to do with the fact that you were asking for a seat for Delilah, no. Lobo, for all your supporters. Nothing like that. Mm. See, um, it is like when you say and BJP that, refused that. Yeah. Uh, when you say they want to cut me to size, mm. 
my growing popularity among all the people yeah they wanted me to to be cut to size so same way they don't want anybody else to grow so why same did you way a uh, lot of other people were sideline hmm. now you can see our mp shripad naik yes. long back before meeting with an accident hmm. now he is not that well or not that active so because when, of the accident so but when when bjp says that michael lobo has now become a wife first politician <laughs> no never my wife is in politics for the last 15 years she is yes. a sarpanch for last 10 years she has won unopposed in the in the in the panchayat she has got, got unopposed as a sarpanch so she is here but in bjp politics. say no to her for not for a ticket or not yes or no no B she never asked ticket from bjp okay she has never asked ticket uh, with the party president or the cm hmm. never have asked neither i have asked but they knew that my wife is working in sholim constituency for a long time right and a lot of times they try telling me that tell her not to work there but we already are... have a candidate i said we never have uh, my wife has never asked a ticket from you so now you've come into the congress but the congress as you said is almost finished so no. that means you are all, all will, See, will you because na na congress was not finished congress mlas are finished in the congress party MLAs left the party and joined the BJP. Means they, they uh, two third of them went and joined yes. BJP. And uh, people are there to vote for the party. People wanted good leaders hmm. to come and bring the party up. Maybe I am a small worker and karya karta. So I have joined the party to bring the Congress no, no, when up. When you say you are a small worker, Mr. Lobo, you are a you are considered to be the dawn of this area you are you've heard the accusation the accusation is that you are uh, linked to the drug mafia <laughs> you are involved with all that that's See, what you that's I'm, what you, what do they what do you say about that these drug I'm, links that keep coming up I, with michael obama i am uh, a businessman i have my hotels my restaurants my guest houses my uh, my construction business yes we file our returns properly and yes. everything i think i am the highest income tax payee among all the mlas uh, mlas for the last you two declared, terms you declared you are the richest uh, people need, you are the richest mla in goa in yeah. 2017 you declared 55 crores this is only declared huh? i don't know what is the re- but declared is 55 <laughs> crores mm. that is the highest yeah and now this is all legitimate money like the businesses yeah, the hotels yeah, and all that yeah 100% no? we are paying We have we pay around 2.5 crore tax to the government, 3 crore tax to the government. For Goa, it is quite a big amount, 3 crores. How many how many hotels and restaurants do you have? Like what quite are, a number. This was all built before I could become an MLA. I was given I was some in, names: Candolim Deck, Baba yeah, Deck, yeah, yeah, Cafe. Yeah, yeah. What is it? Paradiso. Luda. Cafe Luda. Terra Paradiso. Terra Paradiso. Baga Resorts. Uh, we have a couple of them: Baga Deck Comforts. No, but what about the constant power. accusation of drugs, drug trade? See, drug. I am the only guy who talks on drugs. Whenever, mm. when I mean, I was on. always in the ruling. Yeah. I have al- always uh, raised my voice on drugs, and Kalangut police had uh, were very instrumental to catch big hordes of dr- drugs. I think in the last two years. So and you we have done a good job. Yeah. So you are saying you have no an involvement links to the drug mafia. no ways why does the opposition call you the el chapo of north goa <laughs> <laughs> it's because i am the mla of the coastal belt and i am the guy who always talks about drugs being sold in anjuna bagatar sapara morji okay, arambal keri you speak against it yeah you are constantly speaking against it yeah but tell me mr lobo if today you are now with the congress why should anybody trust you because they'll say like all bjp or any goa mla once the result comes if congress doesn't have major you'll again cross over no no see i you strong, will not cross i will strong, i strongly believe in one thing that the laws needs to be amended about this two third and all you need to resign and go somebody is not happy that is different yeah you you, you need to resign law, and go no no law But is, we are here law is different i'm asking you a straight question no no we are here in congress party to form the government of majority 22 plus if it doesn't happen no we will stay you will stay yes we have taken our oath before god I we saw. have taken our oath before uh, the mahalakshmi i believe in mahalakshmi uh, devi 
I believe in uh, in my church. We went to our uh, Holy Cross Church in mm. uh, in Bambolim, mm. and we have taken an oath there. We have taken an oath in Mahalakshmi before the temple, and we have asked that uh, keep us together. And all and of will, us have you given a vow. That pledge. Yeah, all of us have given a vow that we will stand by the party, no matter what is the result. But people of Goa, mm. I have faith. I have faith that they are going to give us the numbers. Because you have taken responsibility of, I think, Bardes. This region has seven seats, and you have, I believe, candidates. You are backing in five of those, at least five seats. You are saying. No, we are we are backing candidates of all seven. And, and how many uh, will you win? Uh, could be all, uh, around six also. Six, but yeah. realistically, be be realistic. Around five, six, five. Five, you are saying. Five, five seven, sure. Seven. Five are sure. Okay, your this is Kalangud, Siolem, Mapsa. Aldona, Saligaon. Yeah, yeah. These are all the seats here. Tivim and Porvorim. You're saying that you may or may not win, but these five of the seven you believe are with you. No, they, we will win them, and we may win even Porvorim. You may win Porvorim. Let us see. Yeah. But last word, Mr. Uh, Mr. Lobo, because as people who come here, Goa also come. You are in charge of this region. If you see the over commercialization, the kind of construction, the state of the beaches, it has become terrible. Many would be, say, "How aren't you? You don't take responsibility for that." See, um, we have given out tenders to clean. I'm also, I was also the vice chairman of Solid Waste Management Corporation. We have a good yes. factory which, which turns uh, uh, wet garbage into electricity. Dry garbage we bail out. No, I'm talking of rampant over construction. Over, over this, construction. That, uh, you know. Over construction. Uh, because you are yourself a restaurant here. No, no. So isn't that a conflict of interest? You yourself have restaurants everywhere. No, we, uh, we have, and 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 there is unchecked we, restaurant and explosion of all this commercial activity. No, That's a conflict of interest. No, our restaurants were before I could become an MLA. But they continue. That is that is my business. But they continue. That is that is where we give employment to others and also uh, take care takes care of me. You and not my started family. any restaurant after becoming MLA? You must have started. No new restaurant. No. No not restaurant. A new one. So, in conclusion, Mr. Lobo, you are saying you are with the Congress, yes. and regardless of the result, you will be there. Yeah. And Chief Minister will be who? Chief Minister party will decide. We have a very very senior leader in uh, Congress who, who was the only guy who remained with the Congress. That Digambar is Digambar Kamath. He was ex. Rane is also there. No, he was ex Chief Minister. Yes. He was ex Chief Minister. He will be CM. Uh, I am not. I cannot decide that. That will be decided by the party I command does, in Delhi. Does Michael Lobo want to be CM? See, that is with the party to decide. But you are not averse to it. अगर आपको offer मिलेगा. Offer मिलेगा तो कोई भी बन बन बनने के लिए ready है. ऐसा नहीं है कि हम uh, offer को ठुकरा देंगे. Hmm. लेकिन I am still saying that party will decide on who will be the chief minister of the state of Goa. Okay, that is a diplomatic answer. Michael Lobo but let's see how it plays out in the fascinating Goa election but thank you very much indeed for joining thank us you. here on thank the you. beach thank you